Alright, yeah, it's all set up. You guys are good to go. Alright, hey, this is Ninetales, and we're doing game one on Smashville. This is our winner's semifinals. Uh, it's a match between Robert and G Man, two very strong players in our scene. And they're both playing their mains here Diddy and Zero Suit. Now, I believe that G Man has, and probably still is now, been working with the. Uh, Diddy Custom Rocket Barrel that uh, gives him insane kill power. I don't actually know the name of it. I don't know the names of Diddy's Customs, but it's strong and we might see it used as a punish sometime in this set and or match. So, so far, both players have actually, in spite of the number of interactions they've had, have taken very little damage, but G-Man's making a little bit of a lead here. Although, uh, gets a little bit punished for having that banana in hand. Um, by that zero suit Nair. Alright, and uh, Robert makes it back up with a flip kick. But he didn't ground Diddy. And Diddy's got another banana out. That's a time to be scared and be careful. Ooh, wow. Gets the down air. That's a risky move to use. Oh man, and G-Man used up his jump and then forgot he used it up. Missed the ledge and then unfortunately um, that recovery, while having extraordinary kill power, loses a little bit of height and a lot of its horizontal movement. So uh, he couldn't quite get back with that uh, with his custom recovery there. Unfortunate self-destruct, but the lead isn't that big for Zero Suit. Zero Suit does have a heck of a lot more damage and gets KO'd with banana to up smash. That was Pretty cool Diddy combo, pretty classic Diddy combo. That's Usually, and okay, okay. <laughs> uh, G-Man almost self-destruct again, makes it back. Um, and so the lead isn't too big. Like I was saying, uh, Zero only got Diddy to 23 before being killed, and Diddy got about that much damage with one down throw combo, because that's Diddy Kong right there on the screen, and that's what Diddy does. Uh, all right, so. Both these characters are very short hoppy and very like aerial pressury, so that's why we keep seeing a lot of crossovers where they sort of short hop past each other and throw out different aerials. Oh wow, and Brobear reads the roll, gets a really good taser and uppy, but um, wasn't quite enough to kill. Um, actually, I, a little bit surprisingly, that's such a strong move, I feel like that probably would have been a kill, but Diddy's not that light. That is enough though, that down smash with a semi-charged forward smash is going to take the first game for Brobear. So once again this is semi-finals, so whoever uh, wins this match gets to go into winner's finals, and winner's finals is a guaranteed third place setting. Which is guaranteed money, so uh, this is a, a kind of important match in that sense. G-Man now at the deficit a little bit, and it looks like we're going to Omega Orbital Gate. This is a really fun stage. It's super pretty. I love the background here. And uh, it's a nice callback to Star Fox Assault, which was a fun game in my opinion. I've heard mixed things about it from other people, but I had lots of fun with it. And fond memories of it. Alright, so Zero Suit got a nice dash attack to up smash there. That Zero Suit's up smash can be laggy when you whiff it, but it covers such a huge amount of space above her that it's really nice against characters that try to come down, or whenever anyone tries to come down you. So Brobear safely double jumps out of there, avoiding Diddy up airs, and we are at a very, very even percent setting and moderately neutral stage positioning, so oh wow, Brobear whiffs uh, a raw up uh, boost kick there. He's getting a little punished for it. And in this game, 20% is never that big of a lead. You know, one one hit can lead to a string that does 20% or more, so um, it's not really fair to say either character is winning right now. I guess uh, at this point, it's uh, Robear is in more of a weak position just because he's more likely to get killed by a kill move. Alright, tries to use Diddy's banana against them. Oh, a lot of spot dodging there, but in the end, uh, Diddy won the spot dodge war. G-Man monkey flips, but Brobear catches it with an up smash. And... Oh, wow, another spot dodge. Oh, and the down smash to boost kick takes it. 
G-Man, that didn't look like it was a perfectly placed boost kick, so it was something that you potentially could have dropped out of, I think. Uh, but uh, he did land the finishing hit of it, so... Oh, wow, did he getting uh, creamed with his own banana there? Alright, and we get the forward air coming up. Robear is um, doing a really good job of catching uh, Monkey Flip with his up smash. Every time Diddy tries to cross him up with that, he just picks him out of the air with it. But uh, Diddy finally gets the first stock, um, and a not too big of a deficit. He's 30% uh, behind right now, but uh, it's easy to make up with down throw combos with Diddy. Alright, Diddy decides to let uh, Robear up for free to get a banana. And... Shields the taser. A little bit of mind games going on right here. Alright, finally some hits are landed. Alright, Diddy down throw combos once again. Robear is doing a pretty good job of not letting himself get hit with the banana. And that was a very nice monkey flip. That was perfectly snapped onto the ledge there. Able to avoid the taser. Ooh. Monkey flip catches uh Deer out of the air that time. The other way around. You're in slightly missed that down, that uh, back air, punish, or not punish, follow up. Alright, short hops over the taser. That's one of the risks about using taser in close range. That's why down smash is usually better. Oh, G-Man tried for a hard read, but Brobear was able to get his shield up in time. That was the custom up B. We actually haven't seen that much of it yet this set, other than when he's recovering. In fact, I think that was the first time we saw him try to use it as a kill. If he gets it any time here, though, he, it could still be the... Oh, but G-Man drops his shield, and uh, Brobear picked out the time for that, the timing for that perfectly. Catches G-Man with a boost kick, and he's going to take this set 2-0. Good set for both players, and uh, I imagine we'll see more G-Man in the loser's bracket, and Brobear will be advancing on to winner's finals.